Luke's in the house. How's everybody doing today? Uh, see how this live video goes. My last one, I guess, uh, didn't do too well. So see if that happens again and go from there. Um, apologize for any inconvenience on the last video. I appreciate anybody watched and appreciate the comments out there from you guys. Um, thanks to my subscribers and uh, any new view viewers out there. Appreciate anybody that subscribes to the channel. Would love that. Uh, nice day. Finally, a little break from the heat. Um, for me, when it's over 85 degrees, it's kind of like a kind of shut down a little bit in regards to going outside. And, you know, it's like do about 15 minutes of pulling weeds or something. It's like, yeah, that's about it. So. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this video goes, um, if I have to make some changes. Um, so, hope everybody's doing okay in this crazy world. Um, stay closer to the weekend, everybody. Uh, so, uh, a video or two ago, I kind of had a thing about um, why don't they do testing on... Uh, COVID-19 is uh, go to a strip club for a lap dance. Well, I guess I have to uh, say that's not a good idea because an NBA player, I did not get the name. I guess he got COVID-19 supposedly going to a strip club. So there goes that out the window. But we don't know the total, what he really occurred at the strip club or what. So maybe he did it wrong. I don't know. Uh, but uh <laughs> We have one person that uh, the study is don't go to a strip club. So maybe we'll get some people that get cured. Again, crazy world, just trying to, you know, try to make fun, light of things a little bit. Um, so lots, a lot of serious going on, people. Um, so, and again, I try, I, every once in a while I go off on, you know, serious talk and stuff, but. I uh, try to change it up uh, a little bit because uh, I do the movie talk, uh, going over movies, which I will. This, uh, flowers are doing good. I kind of wish I would have taken a, a video of that. I'm kind of getting a little lazy in regards to uh, doing videos away from uh, home. Uh, so I have to get off my lazy ass and uh, do something about that, I guess. And uh, so... Again, crazy world out there. Um, do the quick news. Somebody died today. Somebody was born today. Uh, someone, uh, so that was uh, the breaking news. Weather, look outside. I'll tell you how it is. Uh, uh, you may want to put your hand out if it's, you know, a wet and it's raining. Uh, it's white and wet. That means it's snowing. So that's your weather report. And then... Uh, Sports, uh, somebody won, somebody lost. Uh, I don't think there's that many ties anymore. Uh, so there could be a couple of ties that are out there. And uh, so that's sports. Uh, opinion, everybody has one. And you know how that works uh, for that. Um, I was just trying to have a little fun with the video a little bit. Um, not much else going on. Um, again, more or less mom and dad and aunt and uncle are the only ones that I really have personal contact. There's been just a couple. I don't think I've made it to like since March that I've been in person with like 20 people, uh, where I've interacted or for more than a minute. Uh, so it is a strange time out there, people. Um, there is a lot of stuff out on YouTube. I mean, you can go crazy watching YouTube stuff. Um, may try to throw out some links on my uh, page here to go check out some admin stuff um, just for the heck of it. Uh, thing is, I, I go find stuff and then I forget to like make notes of it, of uh, what it was. Um, but uh, we'll get something going. Uh, movie talk-wise... Uh, you have some streaming videos. Um, all of them are okay. Uh, there's one, uh, two that are kind of, eh, but the other ones are decent movies, and one's kind of a classic uh, from the 70s. Uh, so, and uh, it's kind of all topics. We go from uh, 
crime, um, crime, science fiction, comedy. Um, so just get into it is so movies I've streamed uh, recently. Uh, first one is called Intensive Care 2018. Tara McKen and Kevin Sizemore are in this movie. Uh, basically, it um, comes down to three guys try to rob an elderly woman that has um, care uh, giver, and uh, the caregiver end up, ends up fighting. There's a little plot to it. Um, it's kind of like a 3.7 or something. And it's a, I, I don't put it as it's not a non-watch more or thumbs down movies. So um, there's better out there, but if you are looking for something different, it's okay. There's a couple fight scenes and uh, it holds its own and uh, how it plays out uh, towards the end. Uh, you kind of have to watch it to see the twists and turns a little bit. Um, there's some scenes that it's like people fighting each other then getting along and it's kind of a little strange there, but Otherwise, uh, not a bad movie. Um, again, one of those movies that if you're looking for something to watch. Next one, uh, this is, I guess, my surprise movie uh, out of these. Uh, Kill Command, 2016. Uh, science fiction movie. Um, Vanessa Kirby and Thor Linhart. I hope I'm saying that properly. Um, basically, some uh, army officers train against... Uh, robots uh, to get training on fighting and it ends up that the robots have gotten smarter and it's a kind of a survival uh, of the fittest and this movie did surprise me um, if you watch the uh, trailer it, it it does the job and I, I was kind of Again, something that, yeah, this works. It's a good movie. Not bad. And uh, my next movie is a CIA spy movie from 1973, uh, Scorpio. Um, Burt Lancaster and Alan Delon, a uh, French actor. But uh, a good, basically, Burt Lancaster has seen his time and the CIA wants to more or less put a, puts a contract out of them. Good. Uh, if you're looking for a spy movie, this is a good one to watch. Um, and Bert, Bert Lancaster at this time, 1973, he is up in age. He moves around okay uh, <laughs> for, for running around on some of the stuff and kind of has that, you know, actually what a person looks like when they're running and kind of, you know, not fit and, you know, can run a hundred yard dash in you know seven seconds or something like that. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, good uh, spy movie. It's a movie I hadn't seen for a while, and I end up watching it, and I was like, yeah, it, it was time for me to watch it again, and enjoyed it. And again, if you're into, uh, put it on the recommendation list. Next one. This one is a bizarre one, and. I liked it just because it was different. Gun Shy, 2017, Antonio Banderics and Olga Kurylenko. Um, basically, uh, a washed up rock star goes on vacation and ends up his uh, wife gets kidnapped and he has to kind of do the, the dealing, negotiating, and it's just an oddball comedy. Um, it's strange. You may be like, in it. I have this as if you're looking for something different and you're like tired of watching the movies that you're used to watching, this is a change-up movie. And the thing that was, the movie's like at that okay level, the ending credits for this movie are worth it themselves. Uh, they do a good job. Uh, again, a strange comedy. I don't. I don't know if you want to say dark, uh, but uh, it is. It's a good movie to watch. I, I just had it as something different, and you know, there's some corny things in it. But uh, 
I, I kind of give it as a different character for Antonio Banderas. And uh, something, again, I'm willing to say I give it a shot. Uh, you know, I may enjoy it. My last movie is called Montana, 2014. This is kind of, uh, if anybody remembers the movie The Professional, where a hitman takes a young girl under his wings. It's kind of the same premise, but this time the uh, it's a young boy in London, and he ends up being part of the, uh, it's, it's a violent movie. Uh, very, <laughs> it goes, um, it has its parts. Uh, Nikhil David and Lars McGulson are in this movie. So um, again, all, all the movies, I think the worst would be Intensive Care. Uh, Kill Command would be the surprise movie um, that is worth watching. And then Scorpio is just, it's a, just a solid movie. Gunshy would be your different movie. And then Montana kind of, I kind of put Montana with Kill Command, uh, something that I was like, I'm not expecting to be that good of a movie and end up being decent. So the, that is movie talk. And, uh, that's about it. Um, garden wise, I put some, uh, Planted another batch of lettuce and spinach. So see if we're going to get that. A lot of leaves, but not a lot of, I didn't see that many flowers. So I don't know if they're going to, my parents are going to get cucumbers or not. And I just saw that the connection problem just occurred. So uh, see how this works out. Um, apologize again. Don't know what's going on with it. I haven't had this problem. Uh, re and I don't know. Some sums up. So see what happens. Uh, apologies for any inconvenience there. It looked like that was my first connection problem. So that is about it. Uh, trying to think of anything else to talk about. No, that's about it. So like I say, may throw some links out there to, for you guys to go look around at some other stuff. Uh, you know what? There is one. Um, that I saw a mongoose for versus a venomous snake. That was pretty wild. Um, I, mean, I hope I can find it. I, it's stuff that just comes up and it's like, why is this here? And so I end up uh, watching and then it's like, oh, that ain't bad. But yeah, um, I'll try to get that link out there for you guys to go look at for, I guess, entertainment, cheap entertainment value. So take it easy and thanks for watching again. And, uh, I guess, again, shout out to YouTube for letting me uh, do my videos. And um, if anybody, you know, from YouTube, have some fun. Um, I know a lot of seriousness you guys have to deal with probably. But, uh, you know, uh, be yourselves, I guess. I look at it that way. Don't, uh, I don't know. Just I hope people think for themselves a little bit. I think we're getting a little... Oh, now I'm starting to gotta stop that. <laughs> I'm trying to make the videos a little entertaining. So, again, have a good one, and thanks again, everybody. Bye.